Hi, I'm Ryan with MoonSwitch. Today we're going to continue our conversation about troubleshooting Docker networks. Specifically today, we're going to get into networking with multiple containers attaching to the same network via Docker Compose. Uh, a caveat that I'll lay down before we get started, if you're struggling getting two containers to talk to each other, I recommend doing exactly what we're about to do, which is setting up a very simplified version of our problem and going through all of the mechanics until you can understand where, where things might be breaking down. Okay, so last time we booted a single container. Uh, and just to recap quickly, that was Docker run. We're gonna expose the port 3000, or publish the port 3000 and expose uh, port 3000 internally. Um, we're gonna pass an environment message, or environment variable called message to it, um, which we'll just say test. And I'm just doing these backslashes back to help me break things up on different lines. You could do this all in one ugly line if you wanted to. And the container was called hello node with the v2 tag. Okay, and so this is listening on port 3000. If we come over to a new uh, console and curl it, localhost. And we can see our, our message test and we could could boot that with diff different messages, which we will in a second um, So let's use this container and boot it boot a couple of them up Okay, so next up we need to introduce docker compose docker compose allows us to orchestrate two containers running Together, it's very similar to smushing two docker run commands on top of each other and running them at the same time So let's let me go ahead and create docker dash compose .yaml and open up my code editor which I'll just drag over from the other screen um, here we can see the docker compose file so uh, this starts with the version tag which we'll use 3.7 um, that's just what I'm used to using I think there's uh, at least one other minor version newer than that out uh, services and um, we're gonna do Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Um, inside of here, we are going to pull the same image that we used earlier, which is our hello node. Slash hello node uh, v2. And very similar to our run command, we wanna expose um, some ports. So we'll expose this one on port 3001 externally, 3000 internally. Um, and same as our previous command, we need to pass an environment with a message of hello from Tweedle A. And I'm just gonna copy pasta, season to taste for Tweedle B. Same image, I'm gonna bump the port number by one, so this will be running on 3002. And instead of Tweedle A, we'll say Tweedle B. And save this, and we'll return back to our console. Um, make sure I'm in the right folder, and do the command docker compose up. Um, okay. In unsupported configuration option port. Okay, so that is because that should say ports. So let's fix that real quick. No coding like live coding. Uh, minimize that again. Rerun Docker Compose up. We'll see both services booting. Um, and here we'll see Tweedle A and Tweedle B. So it's uh, kind of multiplexing our standard outs from each container and if we go, you know, if, if you remember, we booted Tweedle A on 3001, Tweedle B on 3002. So let's actually confirm curl localhost 3000 should have nothing running on it. Uh, 3001 should be Tweedle A, 3002 should be Tweedle B. Cool. Okay, so um, let's actually go back into, let's see, this was talking with Docker Compose containers. Talking, talking with Docker Compose containers. Cool. So, um, oops, more that. So, if we look and see what's in here, this is where our Docker Compose file is, and we can do Docker Compose p 
FPS. And here we just kind of see more information confirming what we already know, having curled these two addresses. Um, this will be very similar to an expanded version of Docker PS, where we can see both of these containers running. Let's actually pull one of these containers, Docker, Docker exec IT. I just like copy and pasting the ID and run the shell inside of this container. Uh, so if we do this, um, we want to see that we can actually see Tweedle B, right? I don't think curl's installed by default, so let's do apt get update. Apt get install curl. Yes. Um, clear screen and let's do, let's curl localhost 3000. So here we're shelled into Tweedlebee. Um, we can see it running. Um, I do not think that we should have access to it on 3002 since we are publishing that port, but it shouldn't be available internally. Cool. Um, so where, where are we actually running? Um, like how, how is this working? It's Docker is creating kind of a pseudo network that we're attaching to. So if we exit back out of the shell and do Docker network LS, um, we can see uh, what Docker calls a named bridge network uh, that is the same, the same name as a project we're working with. Um, this allows us to do something cool. So if we go back into the shell, which unfortunately I'm going to have to do, well, Oh, let's see, I think curl should still be running since, nope. So get update, uh, app get install curl. So on when containers attached to a bridge, a named bridge network, we can do something really cool, which is we can curl by name. Let me see, hello from Tweedle A. Um, and then if we run the same curl Tweedle B, so using the container name, it has created an alias that we can use to communicate. So if this was your container named Postgres or database, you could hit database with the port number instead of actually having to know what the local IP is to uh, communicate. Uh, cool. So that is the bulk of what I wanted to show you is communicating um, using the host name, but let's actually do a few bonus things. Um, you know, I don't like feeling like Docker's using too much magic. I like to use vanilla Linux tools to know what's happening. So um, let's uh, let's let's inmap this network. So. What I want to do next is poke around on the local network, not using any Docker magic and kind of see, see what we can see. So I installed Nmap, which is um, a way to explore local networks. Um, if we pick up the IP address of this box, we'll see a few interfaces. The one we're interested in is ethernet zero. And so the internal IP of this box is uh, 172.1802. So if we use uh, Nmap, we can scan our local network for other boxes that might be around. So let's see if we can actually pick up our other container that's running. Um, and so the last thing is a CIDR address. And so I'm going to pass in 24 which would scan everything that's uh, 172.18.0 and then anything on that last block could be zero to 255. This is running on um, dot two. I have a suspicion that our other one's running on dot three, but let's actually just scan this network real quick. Cool. And so we're on Tweedle B. We can see Tweedle A running on um, this IP address. So again, this would work on your local IP address if you're just scanning for other computers, kind of a fun tool. And let's just do a quick port scan and see what we can see on this IP. So if we do nmap-v, and I just have a few of these memorized, um, go to nmap.org, I think, and you'll see a lot of, um, a lot of other examples. Um, let's see.
let's see, what is it? Oh, well, it would help if I do nmap, not npm. Sorry, that's just bad muscle memory from too many node programs. nmap dash v dash a, and then 172.18.0.3. So this should do a port scan plus some other things for this other container on our network. So that's running. We can see the fully resolved host name. We can see the IP address. Um, and it'll run for another second. And let's see. We also see um, that it's running a node application. Uh, we see some supported methods and, um, you know, little to little tools like this can be helpful if you're trying to troubleshoot, you know, trying to connect to Redis or Postgres and just poking around the network. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end today. It's going to be a big rabbit hole if I keep going from here. But uh, hopefully this will lead to some more interesting Docker lessons in the near future. And uh, please stay tuned. And next time I think we'll be booting up a full app with other dependencies from Docker Compose.